What's up, y'all? All right, um, I'm gonna do some new shit. Um, really the first time I performed it, so <clears throat> trying to get the, the nerves out. <clears throat> it's a, I don't even know how to explain it. So how many are familiar with Lex Unapologetically? Okay. All right, so if you are, then you follow her work and you know uh, one of her pieces, uh, Take This in Remembrance of We. Um, so I, I took a little bit from that and I wrote a piece to it. So, y'all ready? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> it's called uh, In Remembrance of She. <clears throat> one of my favorite poets once said, so no, don't give me my flowers while I can still smell them. Leave me in the garden if you still care about my petals. Don't pick them. Allow me to stay grounded. Water me. Don't drain me. Let this wildflower grow. Don't try to tame me. Allow me to remain me. Growing. Flourishing. Elegant. Delicate. Captivating. Blooming. And alive. And alive is what she left me. After I heard that poem, I had to go home, see it triggered my dyslexia to better understand my thoughts so I could pin them. I then became so unapologetically raw after that night, I went home to write, see, she was talking to me. Because I gave everyone around me flowers from my garden and at what cost? Because I lost friends, family, lovers. And I know they say something about seasons and reasons how, and how one comes into your life for a lesson and the other being a blessing. Well, that night she blessed me. As those words fell off her lips, as she would sometimes hold her hand just above her hips, I listened with my ears. As she told her fears, you couldn't tell me there weren't tears in my eyes. I watched her be unapologetic, so angelic. See, she told many of our stories that night. The most important message that was received to me was, don't give me any flowers while I can still see. Allow me to be me, present. Because although those flowers, they were my present, they won't have long in my presence. So don't present me with flowers that'll just die. Don't spoil me with promises made of lies. Stop expecting me to ride or die when all I do is die while y'all ride my emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Next time... Just hold me closer. It's much more personal. Yes, this is personal. I'm taking it all personal because y'all be the person all should run from and never look back. Some pe See, some of y'all like circles of friends, right? And that's cool if you like repeated broken cycles. Me, I prefer a mirror of friends. Those who reflect the light I see in them. Those who shine on their own and don't dim my light because they shine on their own. See, I, I like my friends true blue and tight like glue. My friends that talk about money, investments, getting ahead of life, and not who gave the best head in life. I... I said... See, I like my friends true blue and tight like glue. My friends that talk about money, investments, getting ahead in life and not who gave the best head in life. I like my friends to tell me, I like my friends to tell me, yo, Jay, straighten the fuck up and not, it's Friday, let's tear the club up. I Make me take accountability for the abilities that I don't count, that leave me outnumbered. Numbers, let's talk numbers. 401s keep my 403 beneficial. Everything. Make me take accountability for the abilities I don't count that leave me outnumbered. Numbers that, let's talk numbers. 401s that keep my 403s beneficial. Everything I do now serves a purpose. I'm living this life with a purpose. They say we only get one, right? So I propose this toast to me. Not allowing you or anybody a piece of me without properly feeding me. The right ingredients. See, I need to be stirred with the right amount of reassurance, right? 
seasoned with love until the ancestors tell you enough, my child, and even then you sprinkle a little extra just to be sure. I need to be smoked like your J, washed down with the smoothest, coldest drink. Basically, I am the meal. How I taste depends on your palate. So don't overmix your role and don't force the seasoning. Parsley doesn't go in everything, it just makes shit look greener. <laughs> like the garden. Like the garden you should leave me in. Poem. Um, all right, real quick. Um, I was supposed to give y'all all this up because I was supposed to drop the mic and walk the fuck off, but I fucked up. <laughs> Um, so if y'all want to follow me, uh, and you have your phones out, you can follow me at J Renee, that's J-A-Y-R-E-N-A-E, -E, two underscores. I also curate an experience. It's not just an open mic, it's an experience. Some of you might have saw the, the things. I got some if you need one. Um, uh, women, wine, and words, home to where the women spit in a minute and everyone else sit. Um, so we're always looking for poets, vendors. Somebody said they bake. Sis, hit me up. Um... Yeah, just so that's women, wine, words, two underscores. You said you was following us too, so get on, get on it. Um, thank you, Lou. Love you. Appreciate you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. Every first Wednesday, the next one is May 3rd. It's my birthday month. I'm the spotlight artist. Come through. You know what I mean? I might show y'all a little something, you know? <laughs>